to the 60s. Uh, how does the Constitution, the fact that you know, I walk around with the Constitution, uh, show my students all the time because I say that this is the only set of rules that, we, that we've all agreed upon. All of us have agreed that this is the rule that we live by. There's nothing else. So if you're a journalist, you have to know this. How, how, do we, how does the Constitution help us at this point when we seem to be tumbling down a hill very fast? Joe Slovo always used to say, I don't want to say I told you so. I won't say I told you so. The question that Roshan read out was very much in our minds at the time. Uh, so in that sense, uh, it's not a surprise. And I can also recall saying that um, if, you, if you want to look at parallel examples in the world, don't compare us to Canada or Australia or England. India and, and Mexico are two countries where the freedom movement did more than just win elections. In India they got independence from the British. It's a very hard, long struggle. And they had a wonderful constituent assembly uh, and one of the world's great constitutions emerged from India. And they had amazing, the most amazing elections in the world came from India where something like 600 million people vote and often in very difficult circumstances and they manage it. And the Congress Party in India led the freedom movement there. It won the first election, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth elections. Then there were problems in the Gandhi. Then they came back in again and they lost out. And I said, that's a country you should look at. Mexico in the 1930s, there was a freedom movement, a national movement, patriotic Mexicans wanted to break away from feudal power and break away from total domination by the United States. They nationalized the oil fields, created a wonderful culture, independence, and it's called the People's Revolutionary uh, Independent, the Institutionalized Revolutionary Party. And it became totally corrupt, totally corrupt. And they went out of power. So these are examples uh, of movements that, that, that had failed. The issue in South Africa today is what lessons is the leading party learning from the public criticism that that's so extensive. And um, I'm going to be less candid than you might be expecting from me, but uh, I am a former judge my colleagues now are receiving many, many cases that are very, very sensitive. And it wouldn't be appropriate if people think, oh, these judges, they've made their minds up, you know, we were already speaking out in that way. So I'm not going to comment in that sense on, on, on the current situation. Uh, safe to say that it, it's common knowledge uh, and the election results uh, reflect the, the severe criticism that's been made. Of, of, of the leaders and it's also common knowledge that many veterans and elders in the struggle are speaking out very vocally and that there's a huge debate uh, in, inside, inside the ANC. And for me that is a source of, um, how can I say, becomes a source of pride that we have the constitution because it's working. The elections worked. Can you remember they used to say, one man, one vote once. <laughs> Black people can't rule, man. Are you serious? That used to be the understanding. And we've had the first wonderful elections and elections since then and since then. And recently, more people, a higher percentage of people voted in our municipal elections, higher percentage than for the presidential elections in the United States. Our, our judiciary is strong, it's independent, it's transformed. We, it's not just transformed in the sense of, of the number of women and people of color, black people and so on. It's the thinking is in tune with our new constitutional order. We have a very lively, vigorous press and people speak their minds. South Africans are not scared. South Africans speak their minds. We're not a coward society. And we're not a coward society. Uh, and, and so these are all 
signs of great health in our country. And hopefully the, these healthy features can enable us to deal with the aspects that are causing so much anguish uh, and, and, and despair among so many people.